Hey everybody, this is Scott with Android Guys, and today we're going to take a closer look at the 3D Touch technology that comes with the Blue Pure XR, a recently announced and now available smartphone. Uh, so this phone comes with what's known as 3D Touch technology, uh, similar to what you may see also called Force Touch. Uh, in short, it allows you to um, hard press on your screen to pull up options that you wouldn't normally get by a simple tap. Uh, so for instance, uh, what you see here, this is the launcher known as Carefree, and that's the default launcher for the Pure XR. Uh, I also have Nova on here as well, so I may pop out of this and back over, but I'll try to stay in the Pure XR's home uh, setup for you, so as not to confuse. So you'll see that there is contacts, file explorer, notes, phone, camera. The, these are icons, uh, applications that you would see preloaded on your smartphone, uh, pretty much any brand. Uh, so normally when you tap on, say for instance, file explorer, it pulls up, you can see, you can browse pictures, music, videos, documents. Let's go back. Now let's see what happens when we force that a little harder. See it comes up with browse music, documents, video, and pictures. So it's a quick way to get in and look for your files. Let's do the same for contacts. Normally that's going to pull up your contacts. It's going to have everybody on there. And now let's do a hard press. I can go right in and add a new contact. Same thing for phone. If I want to uh, pull up phone, I've got some phone numbers I can go through recently. Camera, same thing. Hard press. I can hop right into selfie. So you can see that these are icons, but they kind of pull a double, triple duty, sometimes more, so that you don't have to have multiple shortcuts across your screen if you want to get into your camera settings. Uh, you don't have to have any widgets. Uh, simply hard pressing on say for instance notes. I can search or take a new note right from the home screen. Pretty cool feature uh, to turn that on and off it's right here in your phone under settings. Now you might think that it's going to be under display but it's actually not. I'm going to see if I can put the phone down here for you. So yeah, sorry about that. Under display, you have your normal options that would be for things like font, uh, how quickly you want it to time out, brightness. So the 3D Touch is actually under advanced settings, and it's right there. So under 3D Touch, you can toggle that on and off. You can also adjust the sensitivity. If you want to press that harder or lighter for it to recognize, you can do that. You can actually test that here in the app too. You can also set it up so that you can 3D touch or hard press the screen to turn the display on. And then this guy here, Edge Bar, it's a really cool feature. Uh, it's very similar to what you might get out of the Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge or the Edge series where you have shortcuts along the edge of your device. So if you do along the edge, nope, not doing it there. Let me actually back out of that so that we don't confuse. All right, so now we're back at the home screen. There we go. So this one has a shortcut to settings, uh, calendar, take a note. You can customize this. You can go into the um, application and tell it, you know, what do you want it to do under your edge bar. So if you want, you can have it pull up your Gmail, you can have it go to your uh, Google Play Music, those are some of the options that you have there. You can turn that part on and off. So maybe you don't want to use the 3D Touch to go into your apps, but you like to have a shortcut thing. You can just basically hard press on the edge of the screen and it pulls up whatever applications you want to do. And it's just a simple check the one you want. Maybe you don't want to use the edge bar. You can turn that off and do the long hard press for the 3D touch as well. 
So you can really kind of configure that to your liking. Um, pretty cool. Uh, you don't have too many applications that take advantage of it yet. It's not like it's an Android standard. Um, and it's kind of an Easter egg figuring out which applications let you do that, uh, which of those offer that feature. So the default music player, play, search for music, video, doesn't do it. Uh, you go to clock, you know, a timer, chronometer, and an alarm. So it's a mixed bag of what you'll get out of it, but it's really cool. Um, that's built into the Pure XR from Blue. Um, that's available now. You can pick it up for $2.99. Uh, Amazon, Best Buy, uh, and I would assume some other retailers are going to pick that up down the road as well. So that is 3D Touch.